Welcome everybody to the very first edition of the Radio Joel Review. I'm your host, Radio Joel. Now what I'm going to be bringing to you every single week is just a quick rundown of what I'm reading in the Marvel and DC universes. There's a ton of stuff to read out there. I don't have time to read it all. So I provided a quick list in the description below of the things I am reading and other characters I do enjoy but don't have time for. And we're just going to, you know, run through them real quick. There will be spoilers. Uh, I'll tell you whether I think the issue was hot, whether you should check it out yourself, whether I'm excited for the next issue. And we're just going to move through it real fast. We're not going to do a ton of that filler talking about the artwork and the 800 variant covers. We get that. There are hour-long podcasts for you to break down the societal themes and what we're trying to learn from each and every issue. That's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is telling you whether I think this issue is hot, whether you should jump in on this storyline, or whether you should just pass. So, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, follow me across all platforms at Radio Joel. This week, we're going to be starting with the DC comics because I thought they were hot as hell. Detective Comics 973, the ball of the Batman. Oh, this was an awesome issue, killer ending. Very pumped about it. Show you guys right here. That last page just left my jaw on the floor. Right? You knew that Clayface was going down. You didn't know he was going down for good. That was epic. Doomsday Clock number three. I know we got a long wait to number four. So really, you know, take... If you haven't read this yet, don't watch this video. Turn away now. There's spoilers. But you finally get that one-on-one -on -one with Batman and Rorjak. You get that Lex Luthor and Vite. You know, it is really, you know, it's exactly what you want it to be. Slow burn. But, you know, with that last page of Batman locking up Rorjak, leaves you pumped and ready for issue number four. Unfortunately, you got two months to wait. So, you know, strap in. It's going to be a while. Action Comics 996. Now, this one was pretty fun, too. This picks up with both you know, Superman and Lois in pursuit of fatherly issues. One to save their father, one to find out if their father was actually saved. It was a killer issue. It, end, you know, it ends up with what the cover teases, the son of Zod. So, if you didn't check it out, turn away now, because here's our last page. We've got his son, Lorzod, standing over Superman and... Oh, Booster, Superman are in some trouble. I thought this issue was hot. Definitely want to tune in and see how this continues. Next and last that I'm reading for the DC Universe this week, we got issue number 39 slash issue number 700 for The Flash, Perfect Storm Part 1. This one was a lot of fun also. We got Mina and Ragin popping up here toward, you know, in this story. And then as teased on the cover, we got Grodd back. He's you know, looking for the speed force. He needs it, and we don't know why. So I am very interested in this storyline. Can't wait for part two. Okay, that was DC for this week. Like I said, I'm keeping it short and sweet. I either liked it, I didn't, and I'm excited or I'm not. Moving back over now to Marvel. They weren't quite as hot, but I was definitely interested in Marvel this week. You know, the one that caught my eye the most was The Amazing Spider-Man. Now, one of my all-time favorite characters is this guy right here, this little Carnage guy. Now, we've been teased that this Red Goblin is showing up, and we find out here that it's Norman Osborn holding the Carnage symbiote. Unreal. Uh, my jaw was, you know, for those who have looked ahead and seen the spoilers, uh, who have read the reviews of upcoming comics, you know, I don't like to do that. I like to read week to week. I was very psyched to see that we're going to get some sort of Carnage symbiote back in the Amazing Spider-Man line. This issue was hot. Cannot wait to read part two. Next up for Marvel, we got Phoenix Resurrection number four. This has been an interesting storyline. You know, I've always been interested in the Phoenix personally. I always, you know, go after these super villains that, you know, are supposedly impossible to stop. World enders. The story is interesting. It ends up with Old man Logan thinking that he's going to go have a little talk with Gene, who's stuck in the Phoenix's egg incubator. We're not sure exactly what it is, but it looks like the Phoenix is grooming Gene to take over, and old man Logan's going to go have words with her. Cool last shot. Definitely fun story. 
definitely tune into the next issue. Next up in Marvel, we got X-Men Blue number 20. You know, we got that final cross time capers issue. Uh, you know, this has been building up now for a couple, you know, for a couple of issues. And it you know, ends with Magneto facing off against the Brotherhood in what seems like, you know, he's about to murder them. Fun last page, cool issue. You know, cross time capers, you were either interested in the storyline or you weren't. To me, it was kind of lukewarm. You know, I'm ready to move on to... The X-Men Blue Annual, Poison X Part 1. I thought this was pretty cool. I'm particularly a big fan of Venom. I like how they brought the Star Jammers in. You know, I miss them. Uh, definitely interested in this storyline. Interested in these hijackers who are armed with symbiotes. Cool issue. And last up for this week's issue is Daredevil 597. We got this cool storyline where... Wilson Fisk is the mayor, Matt Murdock is working for him, and he's trying to figure out what is going on in that office, how he can kind of figure out his plans and get beat this game. We got Muse showing up, we got all sorts of fun stuff, also hot issue, definitely tune in for more of Mayor Fisk. Thank you for tuning in to the very first edition of the Radio Joel Review. If you liked what you saw again, hit that subscribe button, drop a line in the comments below. Definitely want to interact, hear what you guys think, what you're reading, what you like and what you didn't like, and whether you agree with me or disagree with me. But regardless, tune in next week. I got more for you. Thanks for listening.